Hi, Laurie. Thanks uh, for Laurie Hack. We're joined today by uh, Laurie Hack, who's the uh, executive director of ORCID, which is an open researcher ID uh, initiative uh, that's uh, really gained, gaining traction in the research world. Um, Laurie, what, you know, what, why has uh, the ORCID um, been formed and you know, who, who is behind it? Right. So ORCID is um, a collaboration between a number of different organizations in the research community, um, who a number of whom have tried to um, uh, disambiguate or understand uh, who the researchers are and how they're connected to their works and have failed, um, and have decided to come together and collaborate um, uh, by creating a nonprofit organization that works across sectors, across uh, organizational boundaries, discipline boundaries, um, and national boundaries to create a registry um, for individuals to create um, a persistent and unique identifier for themselves, um, and also works with the community to make sure that these identifiers um, are embedded in research information systems and that the identifier is collected um, when a researcher submits a manuscript to grant and other kinds of things and becomes a piece uh, of the metadata on these various documents and activities. So from a practical point of view, this would allow uh, me as a researcher to to link, what, uh, what would I link to my ORCID ID or right. to my ORCID profile? What kind of things would it would allow me you to would, do? You would be able to link um, your identifier to a manuscript, so a journal publication, a book, um, a data set, uh, a research grant, um, uh, your affiliation, um, pretty much any research activity or work um, from your professional uh, life, um, you could link back to um, your ORCID identifier. So I already have linkages, I assume, within the different places where I might publish. But this means that I can bring all of those together. Is that the idea that um, not just you know, my profile with a particular publisher or research organization, but uh, being able to somehow bring all those together. Is that the idea? Exactly. And what, what the, 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 the uh, wonderful thing about ORCID is that it's an identifier that travels with you throughout your career. And so if you happen to change institutions, which many researchers do, this identifier stays with you and all the data also does. Um, and uh, so, yeah, if you have a collection of publications, you can link that to your ORCID identifier. Um, if you have data sets, you can link it as you move. This information moves with you. You start at a new university. All you have to do is point that university to your ORCID record, and they can download that information to create your new um, university record um, and use that for their evaluation, for their website, all of that. So it's a really great time saver. Um, an individual can also do the same thing um, when, for example, applying for a grant. You can use the information from the registry to uh, support the grant application process and also the post-award reporting process. So, brings this information. So you've got um, you've got um, publishers and and grant organizations involved in um, in ORCID. Is that right? Yes. So publishers are on board, and a number of them have already integrated ORCID into manuscript submission. We have um, Funders, research funders also are involved. Um, data repositories are involved. Universities are involved, um, and vendors are involved. So, uh, you know, commercial. So, how do you keep all those uh, erstwhile enemies uh, together? <laughs> As I said, they tried to do it on their own, and it didn't work. And they really saw that, um, you know, coming together and collaborating through Orchid was the way that they were going to solve their individual problems. Terrific. Oh, well, uh, all power to your arm, I, let's hope, because um, you know, uh, linking people together, and we, particularly with the global information systems we have now, you know, the number of people with similar names or you know variations of names, and you know, the, you know that's a, a really you know big international um, job. And so I, I, you know, let's let's encourage you know, the, the uptake of, uh, of ORCID. If people do want to get involved, then um, how will they uh, contact you? Right, so you can go um, to orchid.org um, and register for free. 
Um, and ORCID.org also has um, information on membership, information on integration, um, our knowledge base, um, and linkages to um, ORCID development. Um, all of that is through our website. Good, and there's a uh, longer version of this interview where we go into you know, all the details, etc. a good, nice one-hour seminar. So if people are interested in that, they should um, also look on the Anne's uh, website. We've got information there about um, integration that uh, Anne's is doing as well. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us, Laurie, and uh, we hope to uh, get you back sometime in the, in, in the near future to um, get a few more details about the ORCID system. Thank you so much. All right, see you soon.